Well, here's a tip. If you use my Selectable Pets mod, you can actually have the horses groom themselves. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to Lucid's Legacy, a Sims 4 challenge created by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the challenge's creator and the rules will be in the description below. So May is almost ready to go to school again and get an A. Um, well, not really. She needs to finish her homework, her extra credit, and do a project, and she probably still won't get an A. So we have some time, though. She w doesn't age up for another seven days. Now, since Horse Ranch has come out, I actually wanted to get a few of the newer animals. So yes, we have some horses. And these two beauties are Doppelganger and Lady. So they're a little bit annoying because they always come up to the Sims and try to talk to them. But I guess we're just going to have to put up with it. So here's the stable area. And we even got a lot of mini goats and mini sheep. And I think that this is going to be an easier way to get the wool that we used to need for cross stitching. But now we don't need any of that. Okay, um, they're standing in the middle of each other because I got one of each kind. And we really have too many animals on this property. So unfortunately, a lot of times they stand around and do nothing while the Sims go about their day. The only reason why the Sims are actually doing that. Oh, Lady's actually playing with the ball. But anyway, the only reason why the other Sims are doing things is because I actually tell them what to do. A lot of times, if they don't know what to do, then they won't do anything at all. So I am pushing the limits with sims on this lot but i think that this is just the way it would be if this was a real farm is that there's people everywhere and there's a lot of kids and there's a lot of animals and that's just how it goes so hopefully i can get everyone to get all their stuff done before the next day but i had a lot of trouble getting the crops planted so yes i eliminated an entire row of crops in order to put the horse barrels and the horse jump in and we still have so many crops that Isaiah and Latasha are still encouraging crop growth and I cut a lot of this out as you know it's now Tuesday at 9 30 p.m and we are still doing crops I planted these I had to wait a day and then started encouraging crop growth and it's now Tuesday so it's been three days Sunday Monday and then all of Tuesday is almost gone well, here's a tip. If you use my Selectable Pets mod, you can actually have the horses groom themselves. All right, Grim, who are you taking this time? I guess we're losing Amy. Oh, Malia's now ready for early graduation. Good. And Pablo can also graduate early. Good. I don't have to do my homework. May really doesn't have to do very much to become a creative genius. She just needs to get her creativity to level 6 and play in a treehouse and sleep in a treehouse. So she's playing Space Explorer. This interaction is actually kind of interesting, but it really doesn't do very much for fun. It's only one arrow for fun. It really should be fun for kids to play like this, but no, it doesn't seem to be that interesting for them. Well, I guess John aged up. We're going to make him a horse lover, an animal enthusiast, and I guess loves the outdoors. I don't think rancher is available yet. And a social butterfly. So since John has aged up, that means that Tracy will be aging up soon. And we have to move them out of the toddler room. So what I'm thinking about doing is moving them into these two rooms because they're children they should still be in the main house and then moving Cameron and Wade out here to this house now Cameron and Wade actually are going to live in town and one of them is going to live above the restaurant and one of them is going to live above the grocery store but I can't really do that when I'm playing in this household and they are still teens so for now I will just move them out here to this extra house we'll just say that they're living in town when they grow up until young adults all right Tracy it's almost your turn to age up let's go play in the tent and get your fun up first though I wonder if she's going to make it and now she's going to age up happy birthday Tracy Sorry we didn't bake you a cake, but I really can't be bothered because there's too many kids in this house. 
And where are we going to go to age up? And we'll just go with the same thing as what we picked for John. So Isaiah needs to plant a cow plant or actually grow a cow plant in order to finish his aspiration for gardening. We'll see if we can get this to work. I've put the cow plant over here in the place of the old shed because I went down to just one cow and one llama. And May now has an A in school. Oh, I forgot to stargaze last night. Okay, I have to remember that this time. I almost forgot as the roosters are crowing, I need to stargaze. Whoops. How are you getting out? Okay, I don't understand how these gates work. If I say lock for all pets, it seems to allow them through anyway. Oh, I know why. It's because I'm allowing the household through this one. Okay, I can't allow the household through any of the gates. I have to say just allow a single sim and that is so annoying because the horses are part of the household and I don't want them running around. All right, now all we have to do is sleep in a treehouse for six hours, which means we have to be really tired first. And it's love day. Hey, Isaiah, it's me, Maria. Do you want to go out on a date? Uh, no, you're married and Isaiah's married. Why does The Sims do this? Um, I have no idea. No, thanks, Maria. Sorry. Oh, Carrie wants to be best friends with Wade. Okay. Oh, Carrie Scott wants to take things to the next level. Will Wade be her boyfriend? Okay. Usually they start out by asking to be best friends and then they ask to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. It's just kind of strange how often they will do that because we really have no relationship. I have at least a little bit of a relationship, but not really that much. Let's see what happens when we give Pablo a love day gift. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, well. Happy birthday, Vera. Okay, they can actually have two traits, but I'm not really sure I want them to have two traits. I guess maybe inquisitive. That way they get thinking skill a little bit quicker. And now it's Juanita's turn. Happy birthday, Juanita. And we're independent and inquisitive. You don't need a bath. Why are you asking for a bath? Your hygiene is full. Go potty. Oh, we don't have a monster light in here? I did not know that. Okay, let's try talking to the monster. Nope, monster does not want to- No, don't you dare go wake her up. No, I don't want you to wake people up. Just take a nap. Why are my toddlers and infants always messy eaters? I don't like that quirk at all. They make too much mess. I'm okay with one pile, but they seem to make two or three each time they eat. Wade has a fear of being cheated on. You just got a girlfriend. Okay. Okay, all the mini sheep are starving because they're sleeping. I have to go wake them up and feed them. Oh, Latasha's eating for two. May's social and fun is always low. I think it's because she doesn't really enjoy the outdoors as much as everyone else. And even talking to plants doesn't seem to be very fun. Oh, that's right. Let's go sleep in the treehouse. Maybe she can get six hours. I don't know. Or maybe she needs to be in the red. Hopefully none of the animals will wake her up. Oh, cool. They kind of stick their head out of these windows. But yeah, it's a little bit glitched when they lay down. Okay, he's almost standing through the wall now. Well, that's the end of another week. And May is just sleeping away. So we'll see if she makes it for six hours. Everyone else is getting ready for bed and the farm is nice and quiet. And all of the crops have been harvested except for a few. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.